Hello there, and welcome to another informative video from Wondershirt Dr. Phone. I'm Francisco, and in this video, we're going to discuss the iPhone stuck on iPhone attempting data recovery screen. Now, this issue usually occurs when you reboot the iPhone after restoring it or updating its iOS version. So this video will take you through a detailed look at what this issue is, why it occurs, and how to fix it. But before we discuss the attempting data recovery screen issue, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Doing this will keep you updated when the latest videos on this channel come out. Now without any further ado, let's move on to the main topic. Part 1. What is the iPhone stuck on attempting data recovery problem? So first we're going to start by understanding why your iPhone gets stuck on attempting data recovery screen. This issue typically arises when your iPhone encounters difficulties in booting up and initiating the normal operating system. When you update your iPhone to the latest iOS or restore your iPhone to an older version, the screen appears after your phone reboots. In normal circumstances, the screen disappears after just a few minutes. However, sometimes iPhone attempting data recovery after update can get stuck in the loop. This can eventually lead to data loss on your iPhone. So it's important to note that while your iPhone is attempting data recovery, it is essentially in recovery mode, striving to restore the system to its normal state. However, sometimes it does get stuck in this loop, causing inconveniences and concerns. Part 2. Reasons iPhone is stuck on attempting data recovery So now that we understand the problem of why the iPhone says attempting data recovery, let's go ahead and explore some of the common reasons behind this issue. By identifying the root causes, we can better understand how to approach the solutions. Here are going to be three primary factors that can lead to your iPhone being stuck on attempting data recovery. Number 1. Updating or downgrading your iOS version One common reason for encountering Apple attempting data recovery problems is usually going to be when you update or downgrade your iOS software. While iOS updates are designed to enhance performance and introduce new features, they can sometimes encounter errors during the installation process, resulting in a stuck recovery loop. Number 2. Updating your iPhone after jailbreaking So this one's going to be a fairly obvi obvious one and it's actually a fairly common one too. If you have previously jailbroken your iPhone, it's important to note that updating the device through official channels can cause complications. Attempting to update a jailbroken iPhone can lead to conflicts between the modified software and the official iOS software, triggering the attempting data recovery iPhone failed issue. Number 3. Disconnecting your iPhone during an update Now, this one is maybe just also just as common of anything. While it's crucial to ensure a stable connection between your iPhone and the computer during an update, Accidentally disconnecting the device can disrupt the update process. This sudden interruption can result in a failed update and subsequently leave you facing the iPhone attempting data recovery failed issue. Number 3. How to fix the iPhone attempting data recovery problem now, now that we have actually gone ahead and explored the reasons behind the iPhone getting stuck on attempting data recovery problem, let's go ahead and dive into the solutions. In this section, we will guide you through various methods to fix this issue and get your iPhone back to its normal functioning state. Here are going to be four effective approaches to resolve the attempting data recovery iPhone after update problem. Method number one is going to do to just do a system repair. So one of the effective methods to fix the iPhone update attempting data recovery problem is usually going to be by performing a system repair. And to assist us in this process, we are going to be using a reliable and trusted tool called Wondershare Dr. Phone. It is a comprehensive software toolkit designed to help users manage, recover, and repair their iOS devices. Among its many features, Dr. Phone includes an iOS system repair feature specifically developed to tackle various iOS issues, including getting stuck on the attempting data recovery screen. This tool has the ability to repair 150 iOS system issues without any data loss. So apart from repairing system issues, you can also use this amazing tool to downgrade or even upgrade your iPhone's iOS without jailbreak. Here is going to be how you can fix the attempting data recovery failed issue with Wondershare Dr. Phone. So begin by downloading and installing OneShare Dr. Phone from the official website. Launch the program and then navigate to the toolbox section where you'll find the system repair feature. Within the system repair feature, go ahead and select your device type as iPhone. Afterwards, just choose the iOS repair feature from the options available for iPhone system repair. Then go for the standard repair method to safeguard your device's data during the repair process. So just follow the provided instructions to enable recovery mode on your iPhone. 
Furthermore, the software will also detect your device's model and suggest compatible firmware. Proceed to download and install the recommended firmware. After the installation is complete, just go ahead and press the Repair Now button to resolve your iPhone system issues, such as iOS attempting data recovery process, for example. Method number two, try completing the update. So another method that you can try to fix the iPhone attempting data recovery loop problem is simply to complete the update process. This method is particularly useful if the data recovery loop occurs during an interrupted or failed iOS update. So this is when we would be tackling this issue. When an iOS update gets interrupted or fails to complete, it can result in your iPhone being stuck on the attempting data recovery screen. By completing the update process, you can potentially resolve any iOS update attempting data recovery issues and allow your device to boot up normally. Method number three, perform a forced restart. One of the simplest yet effective methods to resolve the attempting data recovery loop problem is by performing a forced restart. This method can actually help break free from the data recovery loop and just allow your iPhone to reboot normally. The process of forced restarting your iPhone varies depending on the model that you have, so here's going to be how you can perform a forced restart on different iPhone models. For iPhone 6S and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the power or sleep-wake button simultaneously until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Release the buttons and then let your iPhone restart from there. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and power or sleep-wake button together until the Apple logo appears. Release the buttons and then just wait for your iPhone to restart. For iPhone 8 and later models, quickly press and release the volume up button, then quickly press and release the volume down button as well. Finally, press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. Release the button and allow your iPhone to restart from there. Method number 4 is going to be to use the recovery mode. If the previous methods did not resolve the iPhone that keeps attempting data recovery problems, another option that you can try is just using the recovery mode. This method involves putting your iPhone into a special mode that allows you to restore or update its software using iTunes or Finder on your computer. So here's how you can use the recovery mode to fix the issue from there. First, connect your iPhone to a computer with iTunes or Finder if you're using macOS Catalina or later, and solve. Launch iTunes or Finder on your system, and depending on your iPhone model, perform the following steps. For iPhone 8 and later models, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button, and then hold the side button until your phone enters recovery mode. So you're going to hold it until it reaches that point from then on. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and power or sleep-wake button simultaneously until you see the recovery mode screen. Now, when it comes to the iPhone 6S and earlier, what you're going to want to do is generally just to press and hold the home button and the power button or sleep-wake button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears on your screen. Once your iPhone enters the recovery mode, you will see an option on your computer screen to either restore or update your device. Choose the update option first as it attempts to reinstall the iOS without erasing your data. So then just follow the on-screen instructions on iTunes or Finder, depending on which one you're using, to complete the update process. Make sure that your iPhone remains connected to your computer throughout the process, and if the update option doesn't really work, try restore and follow the on-screen guidelines from there. And with that, today's video reaches its end. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end, and we do hope that the information provided here has been helpful in resolving your attempting data recovery iPhone loop issue. If you found this video valuable and helpful, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials and tech-related content. As always, stay connected and stay informed. Now, until next time, enjoy.